good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the subject engineering mechanics under engineering mechanics we are solving now problems on parallelogram law of forces these are the two important problems we are solving under parallelogram law of forces now we will enter into the problems the first problem is the resultant of two forces when they act at an angle of 60 degrees is 14 newton when they act at right angles the resultant is 12 newton determine the magnitude of the two forces this is very very important problem and it was asked many times under jntu and anna university examinations and the second problem is the resultant of two forces one of which is three times the other is 300 newton when the direction of the smaller force is reversed the resultant is 200 newton determine the two forces and angle between them this is also very very important problem and it was asked many times under jntu university examinations now we will move towards first problem the given problem is the resultant of two forces when they act at an angle of 60 degrees is 14 newton when they act at right angles the resultant is 12 newton determine the magnitude of the two forces now we will extract the data from this problem let us consider the two forces as p and q and the angle between the two forces is 60 degrees then the resultant of the two forces is 14 newton and when the angle between the two forces is 90 degrees then the resultant is 12 newton our objective is to find the value of the forces p and q here when the angle between the two forces say 60 degrees then the resultant is 14 newton and the angle between the two forces is 90 degrees then the resultant is 12 newton then our objective is to find the value of p and q first we will consider the first case that is the angle between the two forces is 60 degrees then we will move towards the second case that is the angle between the two forces is 90 degrees then first case as well as second case is to be equated now we will consider the first case that is in the first case the angle between the two forces is 60 degrees then the resultant of the two forces is equal to 14 newton here p as well as q are the two forces and they are unknown resultant force value is 14 newton angle between the two forces is 60 degrees according to the law of parallelogram r square is equal to p square plus q square plus 2pq cos alpha in this equation we will substitute resultant force value as 14 newton and alpha value as 60 degrees of substituting r value as well as alpha value in this equation we will get 14 square is equal to p square plus q square plus 2pq cos 60 degrees after simplifying this equation we will get p square plus q square plus pq is equal to 196 this is the equation number one then we will move towards case two now we will move towards second case in the case of second case the angle between the two forces is 90 degrees then the resultant of the two forces is 12 newton here alpha value is 90 degrees and resultant force value is 12 newton according to the law of parallelogram r square is equal to p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos alpha here alpha value is 90 degrees so cos 90 degrees is equal to 0 then 2 pq cos alpha value becomes 0 then r square is equal to p square plus q square r value is 12 newton then r square value becomes 144 this is the equation number 2 this p square plus q square is equal to 144 value is to be substituted in the equation number 1 
the equation number one is p square plus q square plus pq is equal to 196 here p square plus q square is equal to 144 then this equation becomes 144 plus pq is equal to 196 pq is equal to 196 minus 144 which is equal to 52 this is the third equation here p square plus q square is equal to 144 and pq is equal to 52 now by applying the mathematical algebraic formula that is p plus q whole square is equal to p square plus q square plus 2 pq and p minus q whole square is equal to p square plus q square minus 2 pq we will find out the values of the p as well as q here p plus q whole square is equal to p square plus q square plus 2 pq here p square plus q square is equal to 144 and pq is equal to 52 after simplifying this we will get p plus q whole square is equal to 248 then p plus q is equal to under root of 248 which is equal to 15.75 newton then we will apply the p minus q whole square formula p minus q whole square is equal to p square plus q square minus 2pq <coughs> and substitute p square plus q square value that is 144 and pq value that is 52 after substituting this then we will get p minus q whole square is equal to 40 then p minus q becomes under root of 40 which is equal to 6.32 newtons then p plus q is equal to 15.75 newton p minus q is equal to 6.32 newton then by adding 4 and 5 equations we will find out p as well as q value p plus q is equal to 15.75 newton p minus q is equal to 6.32 newton by adding 4th as well as 5th equations we will get is equal to 22.07 newton p is equal to 22.07 by 2 which is equal to 11.035 newton then p plus q is equal to 15.75 and substitute p is equal to 11.035 newton in the equation p plus q is equal to 15.75 newton with that you will get q value q is equal to 15.75 minus p which is equal to 15.75 minus 11.035 which is equal to 4.715 newton now we will write the answers for the given question that is magnitude of the two forces here the magnitude of the force p is equal to 11.035 newton and magnitude of the another force q is equal to 4.715 newton these are the required answers for the given question. Just now we completed solution for the first problem. Now we will enter into the second problem. The given problem is the resultant of two forces, one of which is three times the other is 300 Newton. When the direction of smaller force is reversed, the resultant is 200 Newton. Determine the two forces and angle between them. We observed from the problem that there are two cases in the problem. In the first case, when the two forces say P and Q, here P is smaller force, Q is larger force. The larger force value is three times the smaller force. So Q becomes 3P. When these two outward forces are acting on a body at a point O, then their resultant is 300 Newton. In the second case, the direction of the smaller force say P is reversed. P is inward force and Q is outward force. Then the resultant of the two forces R is equal to 200 Newton. From these two cases, what we have to do? From these two cases, we need to find the magnitude of the two forces say P as well as Q. And also we need to find the angle between the two forces say alpha. Now we will enter into the detailed solution for the given problem the given problem is the resultant of two forces one of which is three times the other is 300 newton 
when the direction of smaller force is reversed the resultant is 200 newton determine the two forces and angle between them here we are using parallelogram law of forces for solving the problem this particular problem is very very important problem and it was asked many times under JNTU as well as Anna University examinations. What parallelogram law of forces says? The parallelogram of law of forces says if two forces acting at a point are represented in magnitude and direction by the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram, then the resultant is represented in magnitude and direction by the diagonal passing through the point. Say P as well as Q are the two forces acting on a body at O. R is the resultant of the two forces P and Q and alpha is the angle between the two forces. In order to find the value of the resultant force R, we will use the formula R is equal to under root of P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos alpha. Let us consider the two forces as P and Q. Here, one of the force is P and the second force is 3 times the first force. So, Q value becomes the 3 into P. Then, the first force is P, second force becomes 3P. Then, when the second force is 3 times the first force, then the resultant force R is equal to 300 newtons when the forces are acting in this direction. So, by applying the law of parallelogram of forces formula, say R is equal to square root of P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos alpha. Here R value is 300. P value that is first force value is P. Second force say Q value is 3P. So, here we are substituting the Q value as 3P. So, by substituting R value, P value and Q is equal to 3P value, then the equation becomes R square is equal to P square plus 9P square plus 6P square cos alpha. Here alpha value is not given. By substituting the R value as 300 Newton, then this equation becomes 300 square is equal to P square plus 9P square plus 6P square cos alpha. Then it becomes 300 square is equal to 10P square plus 6P square cos alpha. This is the first equation. This equation we got, we are considering the forces direction in this way. Now we will move to the second case. In the second case, the force value say P is to be diverted in the opposite direction. To be diverted in the opposite direction. Now we will move towards the second case. In the second case, when the direction of the smaller force is reverse then the resultant value becomes 200 newton then by applying the law of parallelogram of forces formula say r is equal to square root of p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos alpha here p value we are considering it as minus p why we are considering the minus p it is traveling towards the left hand side direction that's why this p value becomes minus p q value is 3p by substituting p is equal to minus p and q is equal to 3p value in the equation r is equal to square root of p square plus q square plus 2pq cos alpha we will get uh, 200 is equal to square root of minus p whole square plus 3p whole square plus 2 into minus p into 3p cos alpha. Here alpha value is not given. Then r square is equal to say 200 square is equal to p square plus 3p whole square minus 2p into 3p cos alpha. After simplifying this we will get 200 square is equal to 10p square minus 6p square cos alpha. This is the second equation. Then by adding first as well as second equations, we will get square plus 200 square is equal to 
twenty p square. Then one lakh thirty thousand is equal to twenty p square. P square is equal to one lakh thirty thousand by twenty, which is equal to six thousand five hundred. Then p value becomes eighty point six two newton. Then the second force say Q is equal to three times the first force. So Q is equal to three into p. P value is eighty point six two newton. Then Q is equal to three into p. That is three into eighty point six two, which is equal to two forty one point eight six seven newton. The first force say P is equal to eighty point six two two newton. And second force Q is equal to 241.86 newton. So by substituting P is equal to 80.622 newton in the equation one, then 300 square is equal to 10p square plus 6p square cos alpha. From this equation, after substituting P is equal to 80.622 newton, we get the alpha value as. Fifty point one two nine degrees. Here, the magnitude of the first force P is equal to eighty point six two two newton, and the second force Q is equal to two forty one point eight six newton, and the angle between the two forces, say P and Q, is equal to fifty point one two nine degrees. These are the required answers for the given problem. If you have any doubts or queries, to write it down below comment section. I will be very happy to answer it. Visit again for more videos on engineering mechanics using the links provided under the description of this video. Keep learning and knowledge sharing. Stay blessed. Thank you.